My movie pick of the week I reviewed uh, three days ago. Yeah, three days ago. I uh, got the uh, Critics Copy DVD in and watched it uh, with uh, Jack and Roger this time. They finally graced over, came over to Dad's uh, Rabbit Hole Theater and uh, watched it with me. And, of course, I'm talking about the much-anticipated movie uh, called The Green Hornet. Now, of course, uh, this coming out in both a 3D and a 2D version. PG Rated 13 comes out the 14th of January of 2011, starring Seth Rogen, Jay Chow, and, of course, the beautiful rabbit girl Cameron Diaz. Now, what you may not know is, and, of course, some of you younger people won't have a clue, but uh, the Green Hornet was originally a radio show back in the 1930s, even before Dave was alive. Uh, and then uh, in the 1940s, uh, they started doing a comic book version of it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, to me, one of the uh, short-changed shows that ever there was was the 1966-67 TV series called The Green Hornet, which starred Van Williams and the unbelievably great Bruce Lee. And uh, it lasted one season, and then they pulled it. But, you know, uh, the exposure to that uh, actually uh, really helped Bruce Lee, uh, I, I don't know the, the word maintain, increase his American audience. It, it made more people aware of Bruce Lee other than just the ones that where their mouths are moving and they're not talking the same thing when we're doing English dubs. But this is just a terrific movie. I knew it was going to be when I first saw the teasers months ago. I mean, Seth Rogen is absolutely perfect in this role as the spoiled brat son of a deceased multi-billionaire. And, you know, Jay Chow, I mean, I've liked this guy for a long time. He is absolutely the perfect Kato. And uh, Cameron Diaz, you know, she, she's not bad looking uh, for eye candy. You know, not only are the special effects really a lot of fun, but the thing I really love about this movie most of all is the subliminal comedy factor that's involved. There's a lot of this comedy stuff that's going on between Seth Rogen and Jay Chow that's just hilarious, you know? And the storyline is very smart and very sharp, you know? I mean, it's a typical, uh, you know, I've been a fan of the Green Hornet for a long time, uh, dating back to when Dave was reading comic books, uh, which was, let's see, you know, I was born in 48, 50, 58, somewhere around that, 55, 58, somewhere. Uh, so I was, a, you know, a big fan of the Green Hornet. I mean, Batman and Superman and the Green Hornet and, you know, all the other people that were, that Marvel was cranking out. And it's just a fun, fun movie for me. I mean, my God, I mean, I, I absolutely love Tron to death. I uh, thought Tron was absolutely lived up to his expectations. The Green Hornet, for me, is definitely a three-and-a-half rabbit movie. Uh, it's just that much fun to watch and to participate in and to see the workings that go on between Seth Rogen and Jay Chow. And, and I mean, you're going to have an absolute lots of fun with this thing. This is a movie that you would probably want to go see more than one time because it's just so funny. You're going to have a, an opportunity to kind of catch some things that maybe you didn't catch before because in the theater environment, as opposed to Dave's Rabbit Hole Theater, uh, you know, I don't have to contend with uh, you know roger and uh you know the other kid <laughs> anyway you're gonna love this movie and just to show you in case you don't know anything about the green hornet you're gonna watch this right now with dave there's a party going down at the casa de brit bring all your friends as long as they are chicks Today's top story, newspaper mogul James Reed was found dead, leaving his son in charge of his media empire. I'm Cato. I'm sorry to hear about your father. Who is Cato? He worked on your father's cars and made his coffee. Here? Lay it on me, Cato. You are full of little surprises. Check this out. You drew all these? Wanna see something cool? Think about this, Kato. 
I haven't done anything good my whole life. We've been wasting our potential. You a little bit more than me. The city needs our help. We could be heroes. Okay. I'll need some weapons. Yes, we will. And armor. Mm. But no tights. Good. Are you ready to die? I control the crime. I control the city. Let's roll, Kato. The Green Hornet has been attracting a lot of attention. Whoa! Is it gas gone? How come I'm the only one with a gun? Well, because you don't have fighting experience. How does it even work? Do you work for Mr. Reed? I'm his executive associate. He's my man. I'm not your man. He's not my man. Not, we're plato it's plato it's, we're just platonic friends. Yes. I want the head of the Green Hornet. I want it to ignite. Kato, we have a secret mission. Take my hand. Come with me on this adventure. I'll go with you. I don't want to touch you. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. I just want to look at it. Just give it to me for one second and I'll just... <laughs> I love this movie. You're going to love it, too. Three and a half rabbits up for this one. PG rated 13 comes out the 14th of 2011 in january which is this month baby puppy if you're not paying attention seth rogan jay chow and of course the beautiful rabbit girl cameron diaz and i guarantee you this is going to be a buttload of fun for everybody in the entire family